Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for March 11th to March 17th, uh, 2019. Now, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to uh, remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Virgo star sign. And uh, for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single uh, different Virgo. So, uh, in this video, I will try here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, at the end, you will have to um, align this general reading with your personal situation to get more personal expression to what the reading means to you personally. Now, if you want me to do that for you, meaning to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards and to uh, give you on any um, <clears throat> prediction for the future, how the situation is going to develop, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, on the very first page, on the very front page of it, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. So going to Virgo week now, the first card for the Virgos, uh, which marks the topic of the week, that is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the second card, which is um, what Virgo should not do throughout the situation, that is going to be the Tower card, then the third one, which is the positive approach or what Virgo should do regarding the situation here, Nine of Cups. This is going to be the Page of uh, Pentacles. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of Tarot. And this is going to be the um, Eight of Wands. So uh, Virgo, uh, that is going to be a very positive week for you. It's just the Tower card is a little bit buffering here. It kind of looks out of place. Unless uh, that thing comes into a very unpredictable fashion. This good thing comes into a very unpredictable fashion. And instead of taking it as an opportunity or rather like as a, as a, um, as a, a thing that can uh, dapple your life with uh, enjoyfulness and with um, abundance, you take it as a, a huge obstacle. So this is the only way that the tower really fits into this, uh, into this reading. And uh, even now looking at the cards, a few examples are jumping into my head um, of how this could play out. And I will give you these examples as we go with the cards. But the first one, which is the very topic of your week, that is the famous Nine of Cups. So people say, wish come true. Maybe, okay, the very least. Uh, this week is going to be full and saturated with uh, abundance here and um, basically joyfulness of life and as well sensuous enjoyment and so on and uh, so forth. So whatever happens for you throughout the week is going to be in a different field for every single different one of you. Virgos definitely are going to um, present you with fulfillment of this particular uh, area, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The thing with the Nine of Cups, however, is that these circumstances are not long-lasting should one not aim to secure this undertaking, uh, either into one relationship or either into one career, meaning that uh, a positive thing is going to happen to you, okay? But if you want th this positive positive thing to be a positive asset in your life, then you need to aim to secure it throughout the week. And uh, as I said, that few examples are jumping into my head. Well, that is a um, conclusion from all the cards um, of this spread, the cards that I haven't even uh, came to um, discuss with you at that stage. But if I give you now an example, then uh, things could differentiate with the further examples I go. So I give you an example right now in the Nine of Cups, for the Nine of Cups, I will give you, but you need to know that that is a result of all the cards in the spread, all right? So 
if you are single, you're definitely going to be approached this week and that is going to be from a person you know, all right? They will ask you to go out with them, you know, it may look a completely sincere invitation, like there is no, um, you know, kind of like a, a hidden, it's not even a hidden, but it is more like a um, premeditated thoughts behind it. It's kind of like the person is going to invite you somewhere just from a pure uh, friendship type of uh, relationship while they are going to hope, you know, that things can develop even further. And if you want things to develop even further, you know, you got to secure on this invitation, for example, and to proceed on further with um, going into a second invitation or, or creating circumstances to um, so a second invitation or a second date can happen and so on and so forth. Now, uh, <clears throat> the accompanied card with the nine of cups, that is going to be the 10 of pentacles here and the formation is passive, um, passive friends. And uh, basically with, uh, with this formation, it does look like that you are definitely going to fall into a certain place that you are supposed to be in a sense of uh, that with this undertaking happening or this enterprise uh, happening into your life throughout the week, <clears throat> and your positions either career-wise or either relationship-wise are going to become much more solid and secure. And on top of that, for the maybe for the first time in a while now, you are going to feel like you get to have control upon your things and now things do matter based on your decisions and as well based on your uh, performances as well. Um, <clears throat> not much that can be said about uh, this um, from this kind of like uh, from this combination apart from that whatever good thing is happening to you throughout the week because this week is going to be a week where good thing is happening to you it is a result of your previous um, uh, of your previous toils and of your previous efforts, even if you haven't placed them, even if you haven't performed those um, those toils and efforts in a premeditative fashion. So just to give you an example of that, you know, you have been kind with a certain a girl or with a certain gentleman and that was just the thing you do you know you're being kind but that made them a, a very very big impression and that's why now they are kind of like you know hoping that things are going to develop in uh, in a better way or in a higher way regarding one relationship or one career my point here is is that without you even knowing it you did the uh, the prerequisite here something good to happen it is because this was a natural way how you act upon a certain situation what you need to know here as well on a very superficial level with these couple of cards is that whatever investments you are planning to do it is most likely that they are going to be uh, well found and investments this does not mean only money okay but also it could be emotional investments especially with the nine of cups and as well you know investments regarding effort and time the second card that we do have this is the tower and that is the thing that you should not do and it is that I displayed the tower may point that this thing happening is going to be in a very unpredictable fashion. And uh, if we go with the example that, um, you know, a, a person you know, or a friend of yours, it's kind of ask you out on a date, you know, that could be a thing that happens to be a, a plight for you or rather like a problem for you it is because you would not want to destroy the friendship. Okay, with this uh, with this particular undertaking, you know, going out on a date. But the appearance of the tower card here, it does point that when one thing is is brought down or it is destroyed, it can be rebuilt into even greater heights. So you should, this card here points that you should not resist the transformation. You know, going from friendship into relationship is one part of the transformation, or this is a true transformation. Is it going to go through unpleasant symptoms? 
most likely, all right? But these unpleasant symptoms that you are going to experience should not be resisted, but rather <clears throat> one should aim to experience them all because the Tower card, even though manifesting itself with a very unpleasant circumstances, always do have nurturing and healing effects upon one situation. A uh, good thing about this card to be said here is that um, you should always look toward the future now. Now, having the Tower card in such a position, we are not talking about an ex, we are not talking about a previous job or previous uh, project. We are talking definitely about something brand new. So having this card uh, that week, uh, having this card here that week should be a week where you try something new rather than try to rebuild up something, um, something old. Okay. Uh, as we said, that is a, about transformation. So one thing transform into a higher state, trying to reconcile with an ex means that you're trying to bring back the same state so it's not the same thing we're not talking about transformation here and you should aim to go through the transformation you know in a um, most milder fashion in a sense of that give a chance to this undertaking to develop even though it may not be um appearing at the very start with uh, pleasant circumstances. To give you an idea about how this could manifest into your career, uh, that could be, you know, a crisis into a certain project that someone else is working and, uh, you know, your boss asks you to help them and this is your chance to prove yourself capable for a promotion or for a raise. You know, going there, you find a complete mess and without, and instead of giving up, uh, from uh, from this undertaking, try to manage the crisis and as well this undertaking is going to be on top of your current duties and responsibilities. So just because you uh, have been agreed to help your colleagues, it doesn't mean that you can um, neglect, you know, something that you have to work upon at this very moment. Uh, the accompanied card here with the tower, this is the Hierophant card. <clears throat> And the formation, it's uh, active neutrals and definitely uh, things are going in a very unnatural fashion. Something that you haven't expected at all that is to happen, which is going to present you with those uh, pleasant circumstances, giving you abundance and, fulf and fulfillment in life. This sensual joy that you're going to experience at the end of the road. But at the start, once again, it could be, it could involve you traversing certain threshold that you may be afraid of doing so. Like I said, you know, sacrificing one friendship for, um, from, uh, for one possibility to make a relationship with that person or uh, once again to overburden yourself with uh, with additional responsibilities into your career but the thing with the tower card is that you can't avoid it even if falling into a negative position here are the only uh, circumstances or symptoms of the tower card should not be taken as a bad sign and one should aim like i said to go through this uh, transformation the thing, with, uh, the thing with you, Virgos, is that at the end of the road, having here the Tower card, it's a car like you can expand and sprout your, uh, your environment even further than you have anticipated. Um, saying that, uh, let's say we are going with the example here of a friend asking you to a date, okay? So even if you think that this relationship may not be able to happen at the start or it may not be as good as you think it is, as you want it to be, sorry, you are going to be surprised how well this can develop only if you give it a chance. That's what I'm trying to say here. So as soon as this uh, opportunity manifests itself, to you because once again is going to strike you in a very in a very unexpected fashion a fashion that comes uh, somewhat you know as a disruption of your original plan uh, should you give it a chance once again and try to secure it is going to be a, a, a long lasting joy all right while if you don't aim to secure it is going to be just only one night thing um, for example you know one night date or just, you know, a, a, a consultation you're going to give on a particular project or just an opportunity to start a new job while 
you know, this this job may not even happen. And if it is about new job, this is one thing that comes to my mind right now. Having the tower card here, probably this job is going to involve you doing things you have no clue how to do at all. It's something that goes way, um, way outside of your qualification, your expertise and so on and so forth. And uh, you should not be afraid of it, guys, because this, uh, the, the, this whole opportunity will give you as well a room to learn and a, and a room to expand on your capabilities and to expand on your knowledge as well. Now, going to the next card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is the Page of Pentacles. Now, I went with a friend asking you to a date because of the Page of Pentacles. Now, Page of Pentacles, when it is interpreted into relationship cycle, it does mean that, that someone that you do know already have this attraction, emotional attraction and emotional connection towards you and probably you are having toward them as well. And basically a, a deeper commitment can manifest from it. I said can manifest, not that it should manifest. But if you want to experience this, experience this glee and joy from it, then definitely you gotta give it a chance. The thing with the page, however, is that it will require a lot of devotion. So as soon as you put that fulcrum in front of yourself, saying you are taking this new job, you have little clue of how you're gonna manage it, you know, or you start dating with this person, that needs to be a continuous cycle. It has to have its consistency. If you don't have consistency there of learning about the new job, of managing the crisis into this project or dating with this person, the thing is going to fall apart. Additionally to that, the page points here is that your investment, it's just a confirmation to the Ten of Pentacles in a combination with Nine of Cups, is that your investments are definitely going to worth it. Meaning of that very, uh, very shortly after you um, kind of commit, you are going to see that your efforts are well justified by the results that you are getting from it. The accompanied card, this is going to be the moon and uh, it does involve a little bit of a clamorous belief that this is a thing is going, which is gonna bring you great benefits at the end, either emotional benefits or material benefits, you know, or a benefits of, ch of chance, which means opportunities. And that is, by the way, the last card here, Eight of Wands. But the thing with the Moon card is that at that point, you may think that, you know, how can I place it? You may think that the, 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 this situation, the whole situation is completely irrelevant to your well-being, okay? Um, for example, you start this job, which is a, a job you have little clue how you're going to manage and you're saying to yourself, oh, okay, this is just something temporary, you know, I, I will start searching for another one and so on and so forth. The moon card appearing here in the formation is a passive friend. It means that you, if you have your devotion, you have a lot of, of love, uh, a long road to go, meaning that you do have a room to expand. And on top of that, this is something very substantial for your future. It is something basically you are bound to experience either now or further down the road. But not right now, this thing that you are supposed to experience, that it is written in your star code or it is written in your destiny, it appear itself in a pleasant fashion with exhilaration, with glee, with the opportunity you needed to make your life fulfilled. So you should not lose it or rather like you should not miss on that chance and on this, uh, on this opportunity. Uh, the moon card, however, may point you or may kind of place you into a little bit of a situation of, um, of insecurity. And with the page here, it says that should you feel insecure, you definitely can do something about it. So feeling insecure because you are single and you don't know that if you are going to be with someone again, you know, well, if you start dating with this person, obviously this sense of insecurity is going to be wiped out. Same thing goes 
career-wise, you know, you're jobless, you don't know what to do, and this opportunity for a job you have little clue about comes up, well, there you go. If you do something about it, that insecurity is going to be wiped out. My point here is, guys, is that should you put a devotion and the toils behind it, definitely, if you are feeling insecure somewhere at a, at a, uh, environment or a field in your life that things are yeah, are hit the rock bottom right now um, you are to experience a lot of abundance like I said but it will require a, a lot of devotion it's not something that you simply can start and then easily walk away from or well, you can walk away from but if you do so it's basically things is thing this thing is going to deteriorate is going to vaporize so the result of all that here, this is going to be the eight of wands and uh, things are going to speed up significantly at the end of the week, should you follow the guidance of tarot. So the relationship with this person is going to speed up significantly. You know, your progress into your career is going to speed up significantly. The thing with the eight of wands is that as well, you will be able to express yourself very, very creatively. I mean, your mind, your analytic capabilities are going to strictly hit the, uh, the the topic or the very root of the issues that you are may that you are maybe facing uh, either with this relationship or either with this career uh, regardless but with the eight of wands it is very important to know that as the time speeds up or rather like the environment and the whole undertakings are flowing drastically uh, with with the current here, it will require from you very clear and sharp mind to take on the um, to take on the opportunities which are presented to you. Because with the Eight of Wands, we are talking about numerous doors which are opening for you. So. Um, if we go with the example that you are going to date with this person, with this card at the end of the week, you are going to find out how much in common you do have, how much mutual things you like together. And at that point, it is only going to be a matter of decision which thing you should kind of like incorporate yourself with, all right? Or kind of like which thing you are to start developing together. And uh, with the Eight of Wands, as it is a high risk, high reward, type of card. In this case, I will need to draw additional. We do have the four of cups. So it's it's a good thing to play high, all right? So <clears throat> basically try to um, walk out of the plane of um, certainty, if I may express it that way. So try something crazy. That is what I am uh, trying to do. You are going to have the opportunity to try something crazy, something amusing, something exhilarating, something enthusiastic as well. And you definitely have to do it. It is because first is going to make your environment not as boring as it is right now. And on top of that, as having the four of cups here, it will allow you as well to discover slumbered activities and opportunities you could have done until this very moment but for one or another reason you haven't watched into that direction you did not so that you can do these things and now as you have the companion or now as you do have the options available to do so you can definitely do it giving you example straight away you start that new job you find out that you are a quick learner there you do have the devotion so your boss likes you and they promises you to give you a raise in a couple of months so there you go you can start plan traveling you can start plan buying a new house and so on and so forth it is basically start planning a the big picture here with the eight of wands and the four of cups as well you should definitely aim to <clears throat> uh, kind of like escape from this state of stillness you may find yourself at at the uh, start of the week but don't forget that you know this exhilarating circumstances are to happen to you giving you the opportunity to make your wishes come true and should you act on it well that is entirely based on your decisions and on your personal preferences 
So that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for uh, March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was your general reading for Virgo star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Virgo. But should you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, then that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.